want to say thank you to everyone, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hassan Abba, a human rights defender. I'm coming from the occupied territory of Western Sahara, exactly from Lyon, the capital. Uh, I said that I'm coming from the occupied territory of Western Sahara. It means suffering, it means torture, it means reparation against a uh, uh, pacific resistance. Here we, have, we need to, to highlight the situation of the political prisoners, uh, especially the, the violation against their rights. Uh, uh, for my opinion, to talk about the violation, we cannot talk about any rights under occupation. This is a very important point. Under occupation, there is no rights. But we will try to highlight how is the, this uh, systematic uh, strategy uh, by Moroccan occupation against the political prisoner, against the pacific resistance in general uh, in, uh, in uh, occupied territory. First, I want just to, 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 to talk a little bit about the beginning of this uh, situation. Uh, to know uh, the, 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 the phenomenon of the arbitrary detention, it started uh, in 1975 after the invasion of the Moroccan occupation the Moroccan military occupation, uh, first, uh, first time it starts just uh, enforced disappearance with no, with no trial, nothing, just the, 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 the Sahrawi citizen, they disappear directly with no one, uh, no anything in information. But after that, it's still continue, but it start just to make it with another way. That's why they go to the uh, arbitrary detention, arbitrary detention, if we want to talk about that, we need to talk about the first, the first group who uh, uh, went uh, to the trial. It's the group of 26 uh, militant Sahrawi. Uh, it was in 1979. Uh, this is 20, uh, 26, the first group who said uh, uh, directly inside the, the Moroccan trial that they are Sahrawi and they demanding the right of self-determination and they say that the Polisario Front is the re representative of the Sahrawi people. Uh, after that, the Moroccan uh, uh, occupation continue uh, uh, this strategy against the, the, the Sahrawi uh, citizen, especially the militant, the human rights defenders. Now we try to talk about the, uh, the experience of, of many groups because in the occupied territory, we have something very uh, important. There is uh, this uh, situation is continued daily, sometimes. But we have from time to time uh, groups of, uh, of, of, uh, of uh, human rights defenders. For example, we can talk about the group of the uh, Msayyid. Uh, uh, they were group uh, uh, disappeared and they went to the trial. We can talk about the group of uh, 2003. It was a big group of militants, so the majority of them are youth. They went to the trial and they condemned with uh, 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 30, 20 years against them. We can talk about the military and uh, the, the civilian trial against the Sahrawi, even in 2005, especially after uh, 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 the uh, Intifada of Independence start in 2005. That's why the, the situation go worse and worse. Uh, especially with the, uh, the Sahrawi youth because they participate daily in manifestation demanding the right of self-determination, protest against the illegal exploitation of uh, the Western Sahara resource. Uh, uh, in, in compare that, uh, the Moroccan authorities uh, try to send to the international committee that there is a, a, a mechanism, there is a, a procedure going to with the up before the arrest tell uh, the person or the detainee go to jail. But in the reality, there is nothing of that. For example, we can talk about the group of seven. They say the first group who went directly and public from uh, the occupied territory to the refugee camp as human rights defender. They were uh, faced by uh, the, uh, the military, military trial and after that, they released them. And the big one is Gdé Music, the group of Gdé Music. Now we, can, we will go to the part of the uh, uh, violation against the uh, prisoner rights. The group of Gdé Music, just I want to say something about Gdé Music. Gdé Music is not something, something uh, is it simple for the Sahara people. Gdé Music is a production for 40 years of humiliating the Saharawi people. This is Gdé Music. The music, uh, uh, it, it's a, a big movement, 
send it by the, the, the Sahrawi re resistance inside occupied territory to all the world that there is a Pacific resistance here. We will continue in this Pacific resistance. We will not give up, but uh, peacefully. But we have to pay, and we pay more than 180 uh, uh, political prisoner in jail just for between 2010 2011 and we still have till now uh, uh, 17, uh, 19 uh, political prisoner in jail now we will talk a little to talk about that it needs more time but they will be so precise about that about the rights in jail the, the Sahrawi political prisoner doesn't have any rights and they will give you some example and some proof about that. For example, if you want to talk about the group of Demizy, why the group of Demizy since seven years, they got a minimum 305 days of hunger strike, if we count it, in seven years. 305 days in hunger strike in different separate. Uh, uh, Without count the hunger strike of 24 days, 12, 84 days. We count the, the hunger strike of all the group. So it means 10% of their uh, uh, staying in prison, 10% just with nothing for hunger strike. Why they go to hunger strike? Because they feel full? No, exactly. It means simply because they try to get their rights. They try to make a push against the Moroccan authorities to respect their rights as a political prisoner. Because uh, uh, here is something very important for me. And the, the Moroccan authorities tried to do it the uh, last few years. They tried to change the, uh, the, the law of uh, the, the, uh, and the condition in the, the Moroccan jail. For example, when they talk about the visit, they say, no, the visit, you have just three kinds of person who can visit you. They make that just for the Sahrawi to make a siege around the political prisoner. But in the international law, the prisoner who has refused or accept who visit him, not the authorities, not the administration of prison. So they said, okay, no, this is the Moroccan law, but it made it just to punish the political prisoner in, in, in jail. We can talk about now more than uh, 63 political prisoners in all the Moroccan uh, 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 jail, for example. And they want to say some numbers about uh, the distance, right of visit. Okay, you say, no, I respect the right of visit and stuff like that. If, between bracket, if, if uh, uh, you respect it, why all the political prisoners of uh, Sahara, political prisoners outside the occupied territory? We can talk about the, the, the nearest. Jail, it's a jail of Tata. The distance it's 490, 490 kilometers from Lyon. We can talk about the, the prison of Agadir, 650 kilometers from Lyon to uh, prison to Marrakesh. 15 students there. They are there almost uh, three years. The, the, the prison it's far uh, distance from Lyon, 952 kilometers. We can go to uh, the prison of Knetra. How can this family visit their, their son, their brothers, uh, with a distance of 1,300 kilometers? And with all this uh, difficult, okay, sorry. With all these uh, numbers, when they travel for two, three days to visit, uh, uh, in the door of the prison, they say, no, you cannot. Can you imagine a woman has more than 80 years old, traveled 1,300 kilometers to visit her son? Finally, they say, no, we are sorry. We have an order, high order. We cannot let you to visit your son. About what you talk and try to explain? I'm sorry if I talk angry, but uh, I'm talking about something not read it in the paper. I talk about something I'm living in this daily life. They are my brother, they are my camera, they are my, uh, my friend in the jail. We still we continue in this Pacific resistance. Maybe tomorrow after tomorrow, next month, I will be one of the political prisoners. We don't know. Because uh, 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 in the occupied we cannot uh, 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 know anything about the future. The territory is under black uh, media. 
no one visit this, this territory, even the international organization, the human rights, the delegation, the observer, no one can visit this. So all what we have, some uh, 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 militant human rights defender, they try to uh, uh, get their camera to cover the manifestation, the human rights violation, but they are targeting now, we can talk about three uh, prisoners. One of them, he is handicapped, he, just, he cannot hear very good, he needs to use a machine, his name is Sindur. He condemned in three months, just last month. What? For what? Because they catch, uh, he was arrested with his camera uh, covering uh, the uh, peaceful manifestation. And we can talk about the correspondent of uh, uh, the TV RAS, it's uh, 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 Mohammed Salem Mayara and Mohammed Jumayi. They still student, but they were arrested for rush, for nothing, just because they make correspondence for daily uh, life from the occupied territory to the uh, TV, Rast, it's TV for the Sahara Republic. So uh, uh, this is the sec uh, part. The other part, if we can talk about, for example, the right of uh, treatment, for example, the Moroccan authority says, I'm uh, trying to insist about this stuff said by the Moroccan occupation. This says, no, we have a report that the political prisoner, they went to hospital. But here is the important. The right, it doesn't mean to take him to hospital and stay five or six hours. After that, you bring him back to the jail and he says, no, he has his right to, to, to treatment. No, it doesn't mean that. He has to visit the doctor first. Second, if he ch changed the jail, why they stop? The continue of his uh, treatment by the same doctor or they changed his file from uh, uh, hospital to hospital. So here we can just, uh, the strategy made it by especially, especially what they call it the saint Ash, the Human Rights Council. Uh, Human Rights Council, the Moroccan Human Rights Council for me, it's uh, uh, like a, a hand of silk of Moroccan authorities try to check, check it with hand with the international committee. But he participate, he has all the responsibility of the sovereign of this political prisoner in uh, the, Moroccan, the, Mor the Moroccan jail. So this is part. Second part, uh, I want to talk about the right of education. We have, how can you talk about the right of education, Moroccan respected, and we have uh, uh, 15 students uh, in jail of Marrakesh. Five of them, they study in Agadir. They bring them to Agadir. They bring them to Agadir for the, the, the exam, three hours before he start. He has the exam at eight. They bring them from Marrakesh to Agadir at four morning. How can he test, make a test for that? Sometimes they, send, they, bring him, they take him from Marrakesh to the Agadir jail, and after that they say, okay, sorry, you are late, you cannot make your exam. How they can respect this right? So this is an example real. I'm not talking about something, bring it from Google. This is real life. And uh, uh, I try to use this opportunity to call all the countries, all the international organizations to visit the occupied territory, to visit the, the, the political prisoner in the Moroccan jail, to see how is the reality. Why the Moroccan authorities, they feel scared all the time when someone tries to visit uh, the occupied territory. Now, since 2014, we can talk about more than 168 uh, persons who was uh, deported from uh, 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 the occupied territory. Delegations, human rights defenders, observer, uh, some organization in solidarity with the people, Sahrawi people, they uh, deport them from the airport sometimes by, by the Moroccan taxi sometimes. So why they close the territory? If you talk about the development, stuff like that, why they close the territory? So we are a Sahrawi and we live in this situation. And we pay every time for that. I'm a student, no, I'm, I'm not a student yet uh, anymore because I got a master in geography. Why I have to continue my study in Egypt? Because I was one of the militants in the University of Marrakesh. They refused me to continue master. Till now, I'm a, a jobless. I'm a member of the Sahrawi coordination of the unemployed Sahrawi. I um, still doesn't have a right, don't have a right to get a job because the Mor Moroccan authority says no, you have to stop your activities and then you can get a job, stuff like that. But I don't have something for sale. I have a principle, I will defend it peacefully with any price. Even if I continue in this life uh, with no job, I don't care. I don't care. Don't, uh, 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 so in this situation, in this situation, 
we just want to to say that the the the, the, the political prisoner the political prison all their rights as uh, under violation under violation but by a systematic policy by the Moroccan authority it's not just uh, they will say no uh, there is a violation against the, uh, the, the the right of prisoner in uh, in all the jail no just against the political the Sahrawi political prisoner it's like a punishment the separation of the group of Gdaimizi came uh, uh, after the trial why it came after the trial it's like a punishment about what they did, what they say in the, the, the civilian trial. They were so strong. They talk very good about their case. They say, and the, 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 the Sahrawi, uh, the, the fam their family and the Sahrawi solidarity with us, they make a big manifestation next to the court, uh, uh, beside the court, and they demand in, they say that they are in solidarity, and the de music, it doesn't represent uh, 15, uh, 19, or 24 political prisoners. Day music, it's a, a, a symbol for pacific resistance. It's a symbol for pacific resistance. So uh, all of us, we can go to jail if uh, the, the, the reason just uh, because we participate in the music. I want to talk a little bit about the music because it's, uh, we cannot about, talk about this without the music. The music, there is three very important points. The Morocco said, no, the music is short, blah, 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 blah something. Moroccan authorities need to answer three questions. Why? It, in Gdemizi, it wasn't any Moroccan in the camp of Gdemizi. First. Second, why it wasn't any Moroccan flag in the camp of Gdemizi. Third, why it wasn't any one of the Moroccan authorities inside the camp of Gdemizi. In conclusion, Gdemizi was a, 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 a labor territory inside the occupied territory. Since 27 days, the Sahrawi live free, live with, with no crime. We can't say that in 27 days, we, st we have just three crimes in 27 days. In Lyon city, we have uh, hundreds of crimes every night with all this authority. But the authorities and the Moroccan authorities care just about the manifestation. If someone has an accident and you want the police to come quickly, you have to say la badil, la badil, or you have to say viva polisario to bring them quickly. Because they will say, okay, there is a manifestation, we have to go quickly. But if you say, no, it's just an accident, they will come after an hour. So this is the life. This is the life. We have to know uh, this situation. This is first. Okay, I will finish with the, the right of the uh, treatment. We talk about the political prisoner, but uh, 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 we need to talk about the person who uh, did in jail, who did in Moroccan prison. We have nine political prisoners, nine political prisoners did in a Moroccan jail. We have Hassan al Wali, he did in Dakhla because he doesn't have a right for treatment. We have Abdul Hay Sheher. Abdul Baqi Intaha, Umbarak al Mutawakil, Muhammad Bouhim, Bukit Belkushi, Fadayl Muhammad Lamin, Sadiq Muhammad Fadl, Hashim Lashka, all of them they dead in Moroccan jail and no one do anything. And the, 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 the symbol of the matter uh, of torture, it's Muhammad Ayyubi, he's one of the group of Gdaymi Zik. And we feel sorry for that, he was dead just a few months ago. Why he was condemning for 20 uh, years, and the Moroccan authorities, after they make uh, uh, sure that his situation is horrible, they let him, uh, uh, they make him release because they, they don't want him to die in jail. Just a few months after, or almost one year after they released him, he uh, died uh, just last two months. So uh, it's very difficult to talk about that. I'm sorry if I talk. Uh, not uh, exactly, but I'm talking about something in feeling. I'm talking about suffering. I'm living in this daily, and we need something. We need something. We need something from you as a human. Before we, as a country, as a human rights organization, as a human, there is a, a, a people 
dying every day, suffering every day in the occupied territory. We need someone to do something for these people because it still continue in the Pacific resistance. Till now, they didn't touch the stability of the region. That's why no one cares about these people. Thank you very much.